Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you for the year 2020. As I'm telling everybody, we really need to talk about how to listen to these videos. If you are listening because you're in a shallow place in your life and you just want to know about surface level things, does he love me? Does she love me? Does she know we're twin flames? Uh, you know, love stories. I mean, love is not bad, but this is the year that you're realizing what love really is. Aha, there's, a, <laughs> there's something for you. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be amazing. However, we're not talking about surface level things here. So if you're going to listen to this video, you have to listen from a higher consciousness viewpoint. The whole point of these videos is to help you open your hearts, to be connected to your hearts, and be able to grow and expand <laughs> over the coming years. The time is here, don't waste it, all right? So let's get you some cards, and the reason why I'm using cards, I like artwork, I like words, <laughs> all right? And it's just a pretty thing to connect with, all right? I know some of you might say, well, if we're gonna be in our higher consciousness, why are we still messing around with little divination tools? If we're really tuned up in our power, we shouldn't need those things. We don't need them. It's a choice. I'm choosing to use them. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys and what your energy will be like. You know what I'm saying? Or what you need to be aware of for your highest good and the highest good of everyone involved. Okay, that should do it right there. We have Ascension. Okay, so this has come up a couple of times already. Intimacy. Ooh, you guys are feeling okay. You're healing this. All right. Or at least letting some of those things that you described as traumas before go. The return of the Divine Feminine. Look at that. This also means you're not letting people define you anymore. Excellent. And confusion. So here... Let's talk about this. So there is this energy where things are breaking open for you in this coming year, if you choose it. Now, if you're one of those people who's like, I live my, you know, I know everything. I don't need anybody, blah, blah, blah. Well, <laughs> again, uh, good luck, you know, good luck in the coming years because that's not going to work anymore. But this confusion card, let's put it right up there. This has to do with feeling confused about what direction to go in. And they're immediately coming in here and saying, if you're confused about what direction to go in, then you have allowed people to dictate to you how to live for too long. Now, this confusion is also a little bit of confusion about who am I becoming? Um, okay, so I opened my heart, 
I'm doing higher consciousness work and I'm not bringing ego along with it where I'm doing higher consciousness work just so I can hold it over someone else's head. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the pure work. What do I do with this? For some of you, I did mention this for Aries. I believe I mentioned it for Aries. Um, you might start having contact. Okay, so I should have said this in the one 2020 video that I put up. If you guys have not seen it, please, I will link it up here. Please make sure that you check that out because that sets the basis for these readings. But um, yeah, I think a lot of you, a lot of everybody, <laughs> we're going to see, start seeing some more of the presence of light beings on this planet um, and, you know, people observing us. It's going to become more apparent just how watched we are not in a creepy way but things are going to start coming together and I know everybody loves this word disclosure I don't know that anything needs to be disclosed you either know it in your body or you don't <laughs> you know what I mean who cares if somebody comes out and makes a formal announcement either you got it or you don't right so some people might argue that they know disclosure is important. No, I got that. But this confusion is not knowing which way to go with the information that comes through. Again, a lot of people are like, oh, am I going to get a transmission? Why do you want the transmission? Aha. So this is important for y'all because if you want that transmission just for the weirdness of it and being able to be like, yeah, I get, I get spooky messages <laughs> or whatever, you know, kind of thing, then it, you're not coming from a place of spiritual integrity that is going to scramble your energy. It's going to make you not know which way to go. But if you want a transmission because you want to better yourself on your path and you want to be of service to others, you want to, and that doesn't mean you have to go out and start a spiritual business. It just means that, um, you know, however you can transmute and contribute energy, you know, that's going into a collective energy. You want to be better at that. If you're coming at it from that kind of, uh, intention, then yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of good beings out there that want to help you with that. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning here because this tells a gorgeous story. We have this Ascension card. Yes. And this makes sense that this would be coming out for 2020 because that's the whole stinking point, <laughs> right? We're having this next wave of ascension. Now, some people kind of uh, cringe at that word, and I totally get why, because we've all kind of misused it, right? Um, and again, people have used that as an ego pursuit to put themselves above others. I'm flying away from you. Bye. But no, that's not, <laughs> that's not what's happening. What you're actually learning through ascension is how to integrate higher wisdom, higher frequencies, this other aspect of yourself that's never been disconnected from you, bringing that through and, and translating through the physical body a little bit more. So this intimacy card then talks about getting more comfortable with your physical self. The 2012 version of Ascension was, these bodies are crap, let's get out of here. You know, like this earth is crap, let's get out of here. And now, it's like, no, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is where we need to be. This is the whole purpose is to experience a human body. So you learning how to, that intimacy being, you know, getting to know your body again, feeling integrated into your body, feeling like you can connect with other people, maybe in an intimate way. Some of you definitely just healing those lower chakras and feeling safe enough to connect with another person, um, but definitely more just connecting with yourself in your physicality, okay? So then we have Magdalene. So on a, this card, I feel, does have a little bit of a surface level meaning. So this does talk about the return of Magdalene. Yes, I said it, the return of Magdalene. So this is, she, she is the example of how so many women uh, we, we get labeled one thing or another, right? Um, and then we never get to express our true nature. I was just recently hanging out with a man who, uh, you know, I would call him a friend. And he, ooh, if I didn't live up to his definition of me, he exploded. Like he lost his mind and became, you know, really derogatory and really diminishing. And we're not taking it anymore. Okay, so this is not to turn around and bash the masculine, but rather the, it's the return of the it's the return of the Magdalene message. It's the return of, you know, what you think you know about me couldn't be further from the truth. What you think is my power, you are terribly mistaken. And here I am. 
okay? She's about, I wonder if her gospels are going to be revealed even more or something's going to be discovered. That's just, that's just me guessing. I don't really know that, but this energy here, the Magdalene message is coming back. We are powerful and strong as we are. We can express in the way that we want to. That divine feminine energy is having a place, all right? And it's not to go up to the divine masculine, punch him in the face and be like, your reign's over, son, out, you know? But rather she goes up and she dusts off the seat next to him and sits down and says, now you have company. It's not all on your shoulders now. You don't have to take on the weight of the world. You don't have to fight my wars because there will be no more war. I am here, right? So that is the balancing of those two energies. It's not about winning now. And I think that that's what the Magdalene uh, card is talking about. If you look at this, she's got her eyes closed. And when we close our eyes, we go within. And that is the big message here, right? It's not about trying to fight or get one over on someone else. All right. So there's your color card. Wow, that popped right out. Okay, <laughs> here we go. It's aqua. Experience, peace, and calm. The number is 33. 33 talks about ascended masters. Magdalene is an ascended master and experience, peace, and calm. That's what she's doing here. She's experiencing the peace and the calm because she knows that that's where she can create from. That when you're going within, that's the place where the energy is going to emanate. When you're coming from a calm, peaceful place, things are different for you. If you want to do this little experiment just out and about in your life, okay? I've done this myself. Where, you know, it's, it's easy to do. I've gotten into a mood. I'm just in a mood, right? <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, you know, what can you do? Um, you know, and I'll go out and about and suddenly everybody's kind of aggravating and like aggravated with me and the whole bit. But when I'm in a space of peace and calm, if I remember to get myself in alignment and I go out, People are plentiful with the smiles. People are plentiful with the courtesies. Um, free flowing small talk. That seems like small talk, but really we just affected each other's energy in a pretty beautiful and profound way, right? So I think that's what this is talking about. But really it's, it's about being less rigid. It's about not wanting to be right and fight and uh, punish or you know all of these things. We're no longer in that space, but being in the space of purity and finding our way back to who we really are. That's what these coming years are really going to be about. All right. So make sure you're paying attention to how this unfolds over the year. You'll definitely want to come back and probably watch this about, I would say once a month, if you can come on back and watch this about once a month and see how things are going. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care.